Well, my name is Kevin Pixley and I'm the director of the Genetic Resources Program here at the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, Centro Internacional de Mejoramiento de Maíz y Trigo, with headquarters uh, near Mexico City in Mexico and with activities really all around the, the world. During high school uh, was, was the time when Norman Borlaug uh, was awarded the Nobel Prize for his work in the, developing the wheat varieties of the Green Revolution. We managed to come with my high school class to visit uh, this institute, the CIMIT, Maze and Wheat Improvement Center. Uh, and I just thought it was a, a great idea. And as I went through university and, and started identifying things that interested me, uh, plant breeding sort of rose to the top. It's quite exciting to work with, with colleagues from different countries. Uh, and of course, in, in our work outside of the institute, uh, we work with scientists from, from all over the world. Some of them come here. Uh, to visit our programs within CIMIT uh, and more often than that we travel and visit uh, their programs. During my 20 years as maize breeder I've worked on disease resistance, particularly maize streak virus which is a, a very important disease in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, I spent many years working on quality protein maize and improving the protein quality uh, or the nutritional value for humans uh, of the protein in maize. Uh, and more recently I've been working on the biofortification project which is to improve the nutritional value of micronutrients and in my particular case uh, provitamin A carotenoids or the carotenoids which we can convert into vitamin A. In Zambia about 50% of, of children uh, are vitamin A deficient. But certainly it's a, it's a hugely important problem uh, for the world. How are we going to feed 9 billion people by, by the year 2050. Uh, and we already have people going hungry. With 7, mil, 7 billion uh, population, we already have an estimated 1 billion people who are malnourished and, and don't have sufficient food. And we're going to be adding another 2 billion people to the world. We don't have more land. We're not going to have more land. So we've been working on developing uh, maize varieties, which can then be promoted and disseminated uh, in Zambia at least one and perhaps two uh, vitamin A or pro-vitamin A enriched maize varieties that can be grown by farmers in Zambia and, and begin to contribute to alleviate this vitamin A deficiency problem. Every variety that, that we develop cannot succeed if it's simply more nutritious. It has to be high yielding, it has to be disease resistant, uh, it needs to have some tolerance to drought. Uh, and so there are many, many parameters that we need to test before we can promote a variety. Because plant breeding is a numbers game, uh, we develop thousands, in fact tens of thousands, of experimental varieties and we need to test these across multiple locations to be able to see which ones are in fact uh, good enough to progress and to become candidates uh, for release. Plant breeding, uh, it's kind of a cliche, but it really is as much an art uh, as a science. And so to be a, a successful plant breeder, uh, I think the most important thing is passion. You, you have to be passionate about what you're doing because it's going, going to involve a, a lot of days of hard work in the field, which isn't for everybody. So you're going to have to have a solid background in science, but probably most importantly passion uh, about the work and, and wanting to, to have this sort of a career and the difference that you can make through uh, improving the food that we all eat. My favorite part about plant breeding is uh, going out in the mid to late afternoon when it's still sunny and blue sky and walking through the field uh, and, and just seeing some maize that looks really really good and saying and be, the pride of saying wow you know here's something that really looks useful, uh, something that really looks like it's, it could make a difference. Uh, and also visiting with farmers and, and having them come uh, to your demonstration or validation plots and telling you, yes, that they like this one because they've made sadza or tortillas and, and they thought, yeah, they were very nice and they would like to know where they can get seed uh, of that variety that, that you developed. Uh, so I think these are moments that, that you really enjoy. And, Another one would be working with students. When, when, when I, I have a, a graduate student or an undergraduate student really light up uh, with excitement uh, about the potential of, of making a difference in the world through plant breeding, uh, that's when I also feel uh, that plant breeding is, is really the career that I'm glad to have chosen.